Hello from Ran Utsav, Ten City. A uh, very, very beautiful part in the far west of India. Today, uh, I'm going into the villages of Kutch to get closer to the people, understand their art, their culture, their idiosyncrasies, their history, and see their handicrafts up close. Join me uh, as I see the people of Kutch up close into their homes, into their lives, and into their art. I went to a village called Nirona. Um, it's one of those uh, hidden destinations of Kutch, um, located in the Nakatrana Taluk uh, Buj district. 70 to 80 kilometers, an hour and a half drive from Ranutsa of Tent City. I went uh, and saw a lady doing embroidery, a family which creates interesting sound, a 400 year old uh, a Persian art that today exists in the White House, and uh, a Pakistani art form that has found its home in, in a family in Kutch. The first stop was Mr. Hussein's family. Um, this family is what I would say is uh, the sound lab of Kutch. They collect scrap metal, scrap iron uh, from the junkyard. They then beat these iron pieces into small bells, treat them with uh, five different metals to give it a copper-like shiny finish. And what they do is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's been going on for about eight generations. So thankfully this family has kept this art form alive. And if you ever visit Nirona, this sound lab, this acoustical engineering or you know musical bells, uh, whatever we can call it, is uh, one place I think you should definitely visit and it definitely deserves uh, a tag of unique culture, unique art, and one of those hidden destinations of incredible India. Um, in Kutch, uh, especially in the farmer community, um, there is this instrument, a musical instrument called Morchang, uh, that, is, that was used to call cattle. That musical instrument is actually a very small uh, percussion, like a um, you know steel rod that you hold between your teeth and uh, flick with your uh, index finger while you breathe in and out. Wow! Uh, today it has become uh, a great uh, accompaniment for an orchestra for a folk music orchestra wherein they have uh, different uh, instruments like the ravanhata like the dholak and then the morchang joins in hmm. and it's absolutely fantastic and a delight you should definitely listen to it uh, whenever you visit kutch uh, you will, uh, if you visit Nirona, you can see how it is made. You can, uh, when you visit the Ranutsav uh, Ten City, you can see people playing here. And more or less in lots of places across Kutch because at the end of the day, it's something that uh, common farmers use. My next uh, pit stop at Nirona is this a family that has found international fame. A family of 15 members have painfully and slowly harnessed and today um, they are trying to revive this ancient art which has existed only in their family for the past eight generations. And uh, this art is called Rogan art. It has uh, kachi colors um, which come from the, the raw ingredients of the land. The tree of life is the one which actually hangs uh, 
in the White House and that Indian Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi gifted to the then uh, President uh, Barack Obama of the United States. If you are a big fan of miniature art, like the Mughal or the Persian or the Rajasthani or the Odisha ones or the Tanjore paintings, you'll definitely find this very interesting. Uh, it's just one small family, you know, saw a lot of hard um, life back in the early 1980s and then they slowly moved, uh, tried to revive this art. Uh, this is the Khatri family uh, of Kutch. And then they, through one generation and again, uh, they have uh, revived and today it is very, very interesting. They still don't do any direct marketing. Uh, their work is not sold or available in any shop or uh, any museum or anywhere except their home. So this Rogan art is, uh, is one of those unique Kutch stories. Again, um, very, very gorgeous piece of art. Um, the man that I spoke to today, his father uh, was the person who brought this art into India. Um, I'm talking about lacquerware. They use a, a gum resin from the bark of uh, the bear tree uh, to create lac, with thereby the name lacquer. Um, and then they mix uh, natural ingredients like powdered rocks, um, you know, stones from the soil, stones from the ground, um, you know, natural uh, gums, natural colors, the wood of the babul tree, uh, neem tree, uh, teak, uh, maybe silver oak. Um, and then what they do is they actually take these uh, pieces of wood and they carve them into uh, commonly used uh, you know, either utensil or a glass or, you know, a cup, a, a vase, toys, um, you know, wall hangings, decorative elements and so on and so forth. This is the only family uh, to do this in entire Kutch. So today we went to this uh, village called uh, Gandhi Nugram, a small village uh, where um, most of the people, um, you know, from the village of Ludia were relocated to this village uh, after the Buj earthquake. And this lady, uh, her face is was on the stamp. Um, Indian postage stamp, 6 rupee Indian postage stamp in the year 1997. And this Gandhi Nugram is one of those villages where um, you know you can actually see a lot of uh, unique art, very very colorful, Kachi art is very colorful. The entire land of Kutch is um, is made up of different communities, you know, people of different castes, uh, people of different religions, people from different backgrounds. Uh, now, the interesting thing is all these communities have their own art form uh, that is very unique to them, uh, that is, um, uh, that does not exist outside of the community that other communities follow. Um, so if you're interested in a particular community or a particular art form, uh, you will have to go to a particular village or a particular community uh, to actually engage and know more about it.